What is shaking, Internet? This is Salt bringing you a how-to UI guide for my UI. Uh, first things first, I'm going to explain that I am using the LVUI um, UI interface. Uh, you can find it in the link below. I will try and put an annotation on the screen here as well. Basically, you can go there, you can download it, and it has instructions on how to install it, but basically you will install it to this folder. There you go. Uh, it should be in your games, World of Warcraft, whatever, WTF interface add-on. It should be with all your other add-ons. Unfortunately, you can't get it through something like Curse. You have to go download it manually. Uh, however, it is a one, like, all-in-one interface thing thingamajigger uh, that I'm going to go ahead and cover now. So this is just kind of an on-the-cuff thing. I'm going to literally just go through the UI, show off a couple of things that you can do with it, and some really easy things, and kind of how I use it. Because when I started using this, it was actually much harder to uh, understand it than I kind of expected. So I'm going to go ahead and um, start off right here just with some of the basics. First things first, I will go ahead and show you the install process. So when you first open it up with your character, it's going to take you to this screen. Uh, you don't want to click skip process because what it's going to do through these screens is this it's going to do some setting up of variables and things like that and give you some automatic settings. So I'll just go ahead and continue through here. Continue. You want to click this setup CVARS and boom it just automatically does it for you. Uh, set up chat. Sure why not. We can always change that later. That's just going to set it up to the default. Click continue. You can select your theme setup here. You can use, use classic which is kind of what I use. Dark which makes everything a little bit darker as you can see there. You know, classic versus dark. Um, or class, you can use like your specific color. It has a color associated with each class that you can change. So I'll just leave it at class. Why not for now? Uh, you can choose between high resolution and low resolution. That'll just kind of clean everything up automatically. Um, I'll just use low resolution. It doesn't. This doesn't matter too much. This is just a presetting. So for now, you can just immediately. Um, pick one of these and then you can change it later and I'm going to show you how to do that real quickly. Uh, this just gives you, this doesn't do too much, actually I'm going to go previous, let's do low resolution so you can see all the bars down here. Um, this lets you say which kind of uh, which kind of screen do you want layout based. The only difference between these is it's going to change um, like the stuff down here. So if I click physical DPS it'll, uh, it might not use avoidance and things like that. And it does some slight differences, I guess caster DPS would move my thing up. I don't know why. I don't know why this does it, but it just it has some presets here. Uh, I just use tank, and again, these are just presets. You can change them at will. Uh, or as you can choose icons, so you can see icons above your uh, person or icon bars and icons. Basically, it gives you um, a bar. So, for example, uh, how do I do this? Like, I guess that doesn't really matter. I'm trying to see if I can get a buff on here. Is there any temporary buffs? There you go. So. Icon has just an icon there where icon bar gives me a bar on top that slowly counts down. I think I can move this. I guess I can't. Basically, this thing is going to slowly count down, and you'll be able to see it in just a second as it counts down behind this thing. I can't move this installation. There it is right there. You can see it slowly counting down. So the icon bars give you uh, that kind of counting down bar. I actually really like the aura bars because I don't like to look at numbers all the time. And you can say finished, and it'll reload your UI. So boom, I'll immediately do this and I will get started on the meat of the guide. So all that did was basically just set up a whole bunch of presets and let you do specific things that you wanted to do. Now, now that we've got it all loaded and everything, what we're going to do is click right here. So this is what your layout's going to look like basically if you follow the exact steps that I did um, and we can kind of figure out what we're going to do from there. Where's my micro bar? <laughs> I'll have to show it to you. Okay, so first things first, there's a little C right here that says left click toggle configuration. This is where you want to click basically to open up the entire LVUI interface that kind of lets you set up everything across the board. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go through each one of these tabs and kind of show you some of the basics and you can go from there. Um, first things first, let's open up that toggle configuration and see general. So general right here is going to be the first tab and this is just literally general stuff. Um, what you'd want to do here is you you can do specific things. This is just general stuff. So announce interrupt. So you can select here that whenever you interrupt something, it'll announce it to the entire raid that you interrupted. I actually really like this because it shows that you're actually doing something. And for me personally, I like doing this because it shows other people that there is something that is to be interrupted. Like I interrupted something for a purpose, 
and uh, you know I want you to interrupt that too if it happens. Uh, it gives a little bit of less uh, learning. I mean, some people kind of get annoyed by that because they're like, "Oh, you're just showing off," and I'm like, "Yes, I am," because I want you guys to learn to interrupt things too. <laughs> you know, I, it's it's a little thing, but either way, um, auto repair, you know, lets you automatically repair as soon as you um, as soon as you like go to any merchant that can do it, it'll just do it for you automatically. That's kind of nice. I actually really like that. Normally, I turn that on, and I'll use my player player bank instead of my guild bank um, uh, there's some other things on here there's a lot of little things that you can change I'm not gonna go into any of these you can kinda look them look around and play with them but there is one thing up here you can click here and you'll see the other different things so for example you can see general media minimap XP bar that kinda stuff let's uh, let's change it real quick and go to minimap so you can click to the different ones and it gives you different options for that thing so for example like the location of text minimap is mouse over so I mouse over my map and you can see that I'm at the violet stand if I make go away it goes away I can say I hide it so no matter what I do it's gone or I can say always display and it, no matter what I do it's always gonna be there there's little options like that for everything and more importantly stuff like XP bar and reputation bar these things have width and height and orientation so for example if I uh, actually I don't can't use the XP bar let's use the reputation bar so my reputation bar is enabled right now I don't know where it is I guess I don't have any oh there it is right there boom there's my reputation bar and I actually can move this a little bit so you can kinda see it at the bottom there you can see it right here so I can change the width of it to make it a lot wider a lot smaller like a very very small XP bar or reputation bar there I can actually change it to be vertical and this way if I make it kinda like this you can see there that it's going up it counts up so you can move it to the side of the screen and like do kinda things like that um, that's really cool and basically this is where you're gonna find the XP bar reputation bar threat bars class bars just all kinds of random stuff in here um, one specific thing that I do want to cover one real quick is this cooldown cooldown text so this cooldown text is really cool because basically you can set the threshold here and the color of the days or the color of um, the times so for example if I click right here and it goes on cooldown boom it immediately starts counting down so you can see when it's less than a certain percentage it starts counting down by seconds and tenths of a second um, if I change this threshold to be something lower like here then as soon as I get it it starts as yellow and then it changes to red once it reaches that threshold that four second threshold then boom now it goes down by tenths of a second and you can change the color here and you know for really really big long things I don't all right, so this one's got a couple minute cooldown so if I use that boom it's white and once it gets down to 60 seconds or less it'll change to yellow and show seconds and then once it gets down to this threshold it changes to expiring and then it'll go be red and show the tenths so that's really cool you can set it all the way up to 20 seconds um, just you know some more things that you can do here so this kinda shows what you wanna do uh, I had a little trouble finding the XP bar and reputation bar so I wanted to show it off real quick and that kinda shows a little different things there's one more thing I wanted to show and that is mouse over so this is actually going to be something that we'll talk about briefly again but so for example we have that um have that reputation bar right here and I'll show you how to move this in just a second but basically we have this reputation bar here I can click on mouse over and then boom it goes away unless I drag my mouse over it this is actually really nice to clear up your screen and kinda get rid of a lot of clutter so basically it only shows stuff when it mouses over I actually really like that for a lot of things like action bars and things like that and we will explain a little bit more on that in a bit so that covers everything we want to do on the general tab and all that stuff so this is where you can find a lot of that general stuff and you can go here next is going to be action bars so action bars is just right here you can uh, do keybind mode and I'll explain that in just a second but basically you can do all this different stuff to keybind text key down blah 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 blah, blah. Uh, more importantly I like to change the font so for example like it shows one two three four five six seven eight nine zero whatever uh, you can change the font on this to be whatever you want really and you can see that the numbers actually changed on there uh, I don't really find this too fancy all this is just the letters over top of your thingamajigs oh I'm getting text um, you can find the letters over top of your buttons and all that good stuff you can say this out of range so uh, let's see if I can show this off real quick uh, do I have anything that's okay so So like you can see here that this stuff is out of range because it's gone it's got a red overlay but if I get close enough then it switches to a normal thing boom and you can see the seconds there as I was talking before um, so it says out of range and out of power means like if I don't have enough uh, 
you know, rage. For, for example, this one's got a blue overlay because I do not have enough rage for shield barrier. So I can't use this, it's got a blue overlay. If I had enough rage, then boom, I would have, uh, that would show up as a normal icon. Uh, and you can change this to be any color you want, so that's kind of cool. Um, so font, we've already covered the font, we've already covered that. Let's go ahead and show off this. So for example, I clicked on this plus right here. The plus is going to show you all your bars. This is really cool because you, the, you can then click on all these to say, you know, bar 1, bar 2, bar 3, bar 4, etc. Um, you can enable your micro bar and then boom, that's that little bar with all your, uh, all your fanciness on it, you know, your collections and stuff like that. When you press escape, it goes to this game menu. Um, your micro bar can be enabled or disabled and you can show how many buttons per row. So I can move this down and I only show one button per row and boom, it's vertical. You know, uh, I can make this a mouse over so it only appears when I mouse over it. And I can actually set the alpha level of it. This basically just means that if it's see-through or not, so when it's not mouse over, if I get rid of the mouse over, you can see that it's kind of like less visible, more visible. So at all times, I can just leave it like this and just click on where I want so I can see it at all times. Or I can say mouse over and say, yeah, only be visible when I move my mouse up there. So it's kind of your preference, but it does give you a lot of uh, you know changeability on what you want to see when you want to see it. Um, now for bars, these are a little bit different because they're not that different, but it's kind of cool because you can do things like space them out. So button spacing, you can increase your spacing and make you know more space between them, or you can decrease it to basically nothing, one pixel between them. Uh, you can make the buttons bigger. You can make them smaller. Man, I can barely even see. <laughs> I don't know how you use that. You can change the buttons per row, kind of like what I was showing on the other one. Uh, you can actually show how many buttons you want. So basically, it says there's 12 buttons total that you can have here. You can only say, you know, I only want to use six of them, so boom, only show six. And you can increase that, and as you increase it, you can see down here that I've only got two buttons on the top. So it's cool because you can, you can say, I only need five buttons on this bar. So like this bar over here, I think this is... Yeah, so this is my uh, bar four over here, and I say I only want to. I I really don't like all these extra empty boxes, so let's just go ahead and clean those down. As you saw there, though, um, the uh, the bottom one is the uh, the bottom one is where is like the last one, the first one to go. If I start making it smaller, I can change that by changing the anchor point. Uh, let's let's do this actually. So right here, I have now have a box. So that's a really cool box that I can just show off real quick. Now, the anchor point says top right. Top right means that the buttons are going to start here. So this is button 1 on this bar, button 2, button 3, button 4, button 5, button 6, button 7, button 8, button 9, 10, 11, 12. So now if I go down to 11, boom, I get rid of that one, rid of that one, rid of that one, rid of that one, rid of that one. As you can see, it's kind of slowly go cutting them out. But I really want to keep this hearthstone so I can change the anchor point to be bottom left. So as you can see here, this is now bottom one, or button 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Unfortunately, the hearthstone is tied to button 12, so no matter what I do, that's the hearthstone that I'm going to always use. Um, uh, one, thing, one thing that I've actually had a lot of people question about on the LVUI stuff is how do I move things around? Because if I click it, then I start using it. You know, I don't want to use my hearthstone. I want to move it. I want to click and drag it, but I can't. So what you have to do is you have to click shift and hold down shift and grab the thing. And then boom, now I can drag it anywhere. I don't have to hold shift anymore and I just click again to drop it in its place. Now it's on button one. So now we go back here and I can change it back to top right how I want it. And then I can cut this down. There you go. Um, one thing I didn't show off though, if I increase this up to like four, so you can see I have four buttons here and I have this box around it, like this box around it, but I don't have the box around here. That's because I have backdrop selected. If I click backdrop, boom, I get rid of that backdrop and then I can cut it down to however many I want. You can't see that box around it, but if you want to see that box, you can just enable backdrop and then do all this fanciness. There you go. Um, that pretty much covers all this stuff. You know, you width multiplier. So if, for example, if I add like a second button, I don't know what this does actually. With multiplier two, three, four, what does this do? It just makes the whole box bigger. I don't understand. <laughs> Height multiplier. Oh, surprise, surprise! It's the same thing. I don't, I don't know why you would use that. But either way, it's also got a mouse over option. So as you can see, it's gone. Mouse over it. It's there. Mouse over. Mouse over. So again, I like to do this, especially for like bars on the sides and things like uh, that. I don't really care about seeing. Uh, what I generally do is have like a vertical bar over here. 
and I will uh, put my profession tabs and stuff on it. And that way I don't really have to see it at all times, but if I want to, I just scroll to the right side of the screen real quick, and then boom, I just see all my Hearthstone, my tabs for you know doing professions and things like that. Um, so don't worry about this whole height multiplier, width multiplier, I have no idea what those are, but uh, you can see the alpha here too, so if I get rid of the mouse over and I alpha it down, then you can kind of see that it's very much see-through. So it can be on the screen at all times, but I can still see through it. All, all that fanciness. Let's just restore bar, bar to the default. There you go. Um, when obviously when you saw that, I restored the bar to the default, and I think I oh I actually did not go to the Hearthstone. Never mind. Okay, great. So I can just do this mouse over and boom, there it is. Uh, and you can do this for all your bars. Basically, you have bar one through six. Right now, I you know just have a couple enabled. I don't have that one. I can enable that and move it around. Um, and you can also do this for your pet bar. I don't have a pet as a warrior, but you can do that for that. And your stance bar. So up here, you can see my battle stance and defensive stance. You can I can enable and disable that. Make it mouse over, so I only see stances that way. Make it have a backdrop. Same fanciness as everything else. Have it many buttons. How I want it vertically, button per row, whatever you want. Basically, all of them have the exact same things. Uh, they do have a different style. I don't really know what the difference between there. Darken and active versus oh so I guess you can darken an active or make it classic to say this is this is something I can switch to or you can switch back you know basically brighten up the one that that's active or something I don't know I like darken an active a little bit because then that's like super bright and then I have to click over there to darken it okay either way um, so that's all you want really need to know about bars you can mani mani manipulate them all you want now before I go on any further I want to show you how to move things around now I'm gonna show you something and it's gonna be a little daunting at first but I will show you how to use it at the very top of this entire configuration is toggle anchors button toggle anchors lets you move everything boom as you can see, every single thing on the screen is just on here, and it's like, how can I switch from one? I don't know what's going on anymore. So here's here's a little tip. You don't have to see everything all at once. What you can do is on config mode, there's this little drop down right here. It says all. You can click select general. So boom, now you can see much less things. You can see the experience bar, which I don't know why it's that huge. That just never modified it, I guess. There's that reputation bar that we kind of played around with. It's really small and I can click and drag it anywhere I want. It's great. Um, you can say lock and that'll take you back to here and you can see everything. So let's go back to toggle anchors. Let's um, get rid of that. Holy cow. Okay, um, if I click on solo, yeah, that's nice and clean. I like that. Basically, you can see that I have my target frame, my player frame, my target cast bar, my player cast bar, and target, target frame, and pet frame. Uh, basically what this does is this you know gives you just your solo bars it's really cool you can drag them around and as you can see the player cast bar is like normally kind of locked locked with that at first but you don't have to be so you can kind of play them around with them do whatever you want move them however you want uh, sticky frames can turn be turned off and all that does is just let you kind of not stick to the the grid there's a grid in the back there sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't like like if I if I do this I can drag it and it you know, I, even if I move up and down, it doesn't work as well. Don't worry about sticky frames too much. Just kind of move it around however you want. So you can move around your player frame however you want here. And if you really need, like, pixel perfect, if I really wanted this right next to the other one, let's turn off sticky frames real quick. If I really wanted it right next to the other one I just couldn't do it perfect, I can use the nudge. So this, like, thing that's popping up, I can modify the actual values itself, but I don't know what they are, so I'm not going to mess with that. But I can move one pixel at a time down, right, up, right, right boom now I'm now I'm dead set right next to each other so you can use this to kind of nudge it around and get like pixel perfect up 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 and there you go yeah it looks great they are right on top of each other and I can use this to up 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 boom so now you can see they've all like been pixel perfect put together done no problem and you can switch around here you can say solo you can say party and then you can see your party frames this is where your your party health bars are gonna be uh, boss frames if you're fighting bosses uh, arena if you play an arena um, raid if you do raid so like you have the raid frames and the raid 40 frames so like you can have your uh, 25 man versus 40 man raids all that kind of good stuff and just your action bars them themselves so you can move your action bars around uh, and this is this is kind of a really godsend. Like, just allows you, allows you to do whatever you want, move anything around. Um, almost everything can be moved. Uh, the mini map can be moved if you move to like 
general. You can move your minimap, your battle.net frame. Uh, I don't know what that is, but your right chat and left chat. And I'll explain that you actually have a right chat and a left chat in just a little bit. Lost control icon. You know, if it gets stunned, it gives you a little icon. Boom, it just hooks it up right there. So let's go ahead and lock this. Go back here and minimize that. So basically, we've we've told the important one is toggle anchors, and the second most important one is action bar. So you can set your bars up however you want. Basically, with that, you can move your bars around wherever you want, everything you want, and let's just go ahead and restore defaults to a couple of these bars so you can actually see them. Okay. Bar five, bar six. There you go. Now I've enabled everything. You can kind of see my bars and I can play around with them in future steps. No, let's go ahead and cover other things like bags, bag space. So you can see the bag here on the right. That's just some random junk that I have. Basically, you can change the thing to be icons only. So what you can see is um, like just the icons for your for your money, icons and text. Actually, I don't really see a point in that. I don't see it smart. Blizzard style. Okay, I really don't see the difference. I mean, you, there's stuff on here that I really don't know about either, so go ahead and just do whatever you want. This might be brand new. Who knows? Um, size and positions. You can change, you know, uh, button size in bags. So I can, like, change this to be smaller, and then, boom, your, your buttons get smaller and smaller. Change your panel width, width to get smaller and smaller. You can align it with the chat. So basically, like... Oh, shoot. Hold on. Let me, uh... Disable some of these bars real quick. So as you can see here, I have this little this little thing on my chat, like the the bottom thing that kind of gives me a little bit extra extra stuff, and I'll explain that in just a bit too. But basically, what you can do is you can align this to that chat or not, and now you can see I can uh, kind of make it bigger. I can make it quite a bit wider. I can make my bag just huge, really small. You know, grow it like that and be like, this is for the bank, that's for the bags. You can make those buttons smaller, like really super duper small and like, I can't even see them. Um, y offset bank, that means move it around on the screen. I wouldn't worry about that too much. Bag bar. I don't even know what that does. I guess I have to reset my, yeah, I have to reset it. So let's just reset it and see what it, is, see what it does. Some of this stuff I've never even played around with, so it is kind of a new thing just showing off LUI and then at the end I'll kinda you know clean it up and then show you what I'm what I'm gonna do but let's go ahead and uh, open up the bags what did it do here I don't think it did anything I have no idea what it did so never mind um, going back to bags basically I don't mess with this much so you can do whatever you want you can have uh, drop down on the bag bars whatever uh, let's move on Let's go ahead and show off things like bug uh, buffs and debuffs. So, for example, we have buffs and debuffs here. Uh, this is going to enable. This is going to mess with the stuff up here that lets you see. You can see um, right here if I had a buff that only lasted so long. Actually, these show up over there, so I guess that doesn't work. Uh, you can see consolidated buffs. So there's a different thing here. Buffs is just going to talk about this stuff here. My debuffs are actually set right below it. Let me go ahead and show you on the toggle anchors. Player buffs are right here. Player debuffs are right here. And then on the side of the minimap, I have my consolidated buffs. This is just something that it gives you. Basically, this lets you see all the buffs that you have available to you at the time. So, for example, I can see uh, in a party, it'll disable things that I can't see, but I'm, I'm not in a party, so you won't be able to see that. But basically, um, it shows you all the different buff types and styles that you can have, like stats. So if you had a paladin, they could use Blessing of Kings, and it would show up right there. Um, for example, I have both Battle Shout and Commanding Shout. Well, if I do Battle Shout, I get my attack power. So I, awesome, I get some attack power increase. But if I switch to Commanding Shout, you can see my attack power goes away, and Commanding Shout shows up over here. So that just shows you all the different buffs that you can p possibly get, and which ones you have active, and how for how long. So you can look up there really easily and say, okay, I'm missing a buff, and things like that. Pretty nice, to, pretty little handy thing to have. So let's go ahead. Uh, you can mess around with the, the different sizes and styles, How if they grow, like uh, if they grow left, like outwards and, and then down, or down and then left, right and then down. I, I don't want to mess with any of that stuff, but... Uh, you can you can do all kinds of different things here. Max wraps. So how many times it's going to max wrap around if you have a million buffs? No idea. Um, 
let's see let's move on to chat because this is actually an important one so as you can see down here I have a chat bar and I have a nice little um, oh that's kinda cool I didn't realize you could just toggle it getting another text great um, you can you can toggle these on and off apparently I did not know that but either way so the chat bar is just really important you, you don't say much here you can say stuff like ah oh, and then boom it goes shows off that good stuff but um, what's cool is you have these little things down here that show off different things so for example your avoidance your durability and I don't have anything else uh, if you go to the chat bar and you scroll down a little bit you can actually see is it tap timestamps oh I'm sorry it's data texts so yes data text is gonna show off so basically it, as you can hear, see here on the left chat and the right chat there's two ch chat uh, things and you can do all kinds of things with the chat they're very similar to the buttons that I was talking about you can kinda increase the panel height the panel width so basically the chat box is here you can't see it because I've turned off the uh, the backdrop let me go ahead and turn the backdrop on just so you can see it uh, blah, 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 blah. where is that tab panel transparency panel backdrop left only so there there you go you can see that you can see my different tabs for um, things there and you can see the backdrop so you can change the backdrop here to be only only on the right side only on the left side or show both boom I have two boxes all the time I don't really like having two boxes so I kinda turn them off but let's just leave that one on so we can see where the chat box is at the moment I can obviously make that really big have a huge long chat or I can make it small 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 for only seeing one thing at a time um, the other thing is I can change the font on it to be whatever I want you know I there's a whole bunch of different types of fonts that they can get. Boom! Bazooka! Ah! Bazooka! I can't spell! <laughs> bazooka! That's kind of cool. I like that. Um, and you can do textures. I've never messed with that, so I'm not going to mess with it now. Um, but either way, this kind of lets you modify your chat however you really want. And uh, it does do some cool things because it shows uh, the color of things as well. But let's go ahead and uh, move on to data text because these are kind of nice so data text show off a couple things these are just automatically built in um, the ones that came in there so like I have avoidance setup and durability setup because I'm a tank so I want to see my avoidability at any given time you know during the fight I might get more dur more avoidability and that kind of stuff um, as you can see here on the right chat I have three things and on the left chat I have three things so right right here is pretty cool I can see how much money I have um, battlegrounds when they're up you know my time just in general and the FPS and all other crazy stuff holy cow I have a whole bunch of add-ons running but either way so I can see kind of different things and if I wanted to instead of having my FPS and my add-ons listed there I could show sorry a little interruption there um, so yeah I can I can click on anything I want here I can change it to be armor and boom I can see how much armor I have so it shows how much mitigation just by hovering over. It gives you a lot of different ran random stats that you want. So I can do uh, heals per second. I can change it to be my guild and like you know, how many people are on my guild, that kind of stuff. And resolve. If I wanted to see my resolve number, I actually really like that a lot of times. And you have three on both sides, so you can kind of change this up. There is one more, and it says minimap left, minimap right, that um, lets you see these things right here so you can see your friends and your guilds. Uh, you know you can change that and you can change that to be anything if I wanted to I can change every single one of them to be time and time and time and time so now you can see time 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 is just everywhere everywhere is time you can be this anywhere you want and as you can see there's a lot of different options that they have here uh, it even you know ties in with some things like silver dragon that's pretty cool just to see you know what what you've seen that's a that's one I have the different add-on I have just to find rare mobs but either way I mean this is really cool that you can do all kinds of stuff um, you can kinda play around with it however you want and it's very customizable and just a quick look at you know your different things so let's go ahead and move on past data texts and that's nameplates uh, nameplates are gonna be pretty simple basically nameplates are like the nameplates on enemies so like I guess non target I can't do that um, So yeah, it's like I just turned that combat toggle. Basically, the nameplates, the bars are going to be gone. You can still see them, but then only when I'm in combat do I... I guess I'm not still not in combat. I got a charger. Rawr! There you go. I killed her real quick. But you did see it for a second there. Um, 
you can see combo points uh, if you're a rogue or a feral druid, I guess. Small plates, different things like that. Basically, this is just what goes on there. So if I turn off the combat, I guess I can't. I, I guess a mouse doesn't work. <laughs> I'm, playing, I'm flying blind here. So there, there's an enemy around. There you go. There's an enemy right there. So as you get close enough, then boom, you see the nameplates on there. Pretty cool. Um, and you can change like uh, friendly NPC, friendly player, tagged NPC, neutral enemy. Just all this different stuff, uh, all that good stuff that you can pick whatever you want. Um, different different colors, different fonts, what you want to see on those. Uh, I like to play with tidy plates, so I don't play around with this one too much. Uh, either way, so skins, I don't even know. I'm going to skip that one. Tool tip, I don't even know. I'm going to skip that one. Unit frames, this is important. Unit frames is actually what uh, messes with your actual stuff. So let's go ahead and toggle anchors here real quick. Let's grab this player frame and move it over here so we can see it at all times. Now let's see this unit frame. So you have a player frame, target frame, target, 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 focus, pet frame, all this stuff. Basically each one of these is one of your bars or something like that. So if I had a uh, player, this is me right here, if I disabled it, boom, I can't see my stuff anymore. I highly do not recommend that. Um, you can click show auras and actually a lot of these have something like that so I can click show auras and what that does is give me an example of different auras and shows off different things like that so I click it again and get rid of it if I wanted to for example like show you the raid 40 frames I can show you the raid 40 frames here by clicking display frames or the button right up here and it shows me as a million people in my 40 raid frame things and it shows you all you know um, you can see that there's different colors on the names based on what class they are uh, different health or different colors on the health bars depending on how low people are just in general it shows all this stuff pretty fancy nice I very like it much um, but also you can obviously change the width on this so you can make it smaller you can make it really wide you can make it really short like really short and really tall and just do all kinds of crazy stuff um, some things like combat fade when you're when you're out of combat you don't have a target or anything like that boom it goes away so if I have a target I immediately get it back so that's kinda cool um, heal prediction is kinda nice so if I had uh, if I had a barrier or something like that I could see a different colored bar on the right so I don't know how I could show you that but you know somehow if I uh... oh I don't know uh, 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 I got an idea. Okay, let's uh, yeah, let's 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 mount up. Let me show you my headless horseman mount. If I mount up and I fall down, I guess how do I unmount? Ah, uh, I get hit. I hit somebody, and then I use sh like shield barrier. Oh, come on, really? But either way, you can see my thing here. If I was getting a heal, you would see a different colored bar right here. I can't really show off because I don't have a heal. <laughs> Should have picked somebody with a heal. But either way, um, that kind of shows off a little bit of what you can do on the frame. And the heal prediction, uh, threat display mode, if it's glowing, you know, they're, they're mad at you and things like that. Uh, all kinds of fanciness on the player frame, target frame, target, target, raid frames, all this stuff. And you'll be able to see how big everything is. So if I, you know, say raid frames turn those on I can make the width of each each one small I can make the height of each one small so I can really kinda you know make it as big or as little as I want you know horizontal spacing don't put any space in between them don't put any space in between them so make it make it really super duper small and it's really cool because then I can do it and you know, I can group by columns groups per column so you can have one group 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 all kinds of fanciness um, I, I don't know what to, else to say about unit frames, but basically this is what's going to let you si set the size of that stuff. And maybe colors and other things if you don't like that. Uh, right, let's go ahead and move on to... Actually, I think that's pretty much it. That pretty much covers everything I wanted to do. There is one more thing, and that is you can actually change your profile. So, for example, this is like a profile that I have for my current character. I can switch it over to salts. and then boom. This is you know what I have on my, on my main salts character, or actually that... Yeah, my main my main druid guy. So basically, it gives you all of the same thing. So there you go. So you can see some hidden stuff. My stance bar is down here, and it's moused over. I have moused over buttons all over the place because I like to hide things, and I still have that up. So I need to take. Yeah, I need to turn that off. Sometimes it turns off. Sometimes it doesn't. So if you go to like the raid frames and then click display frames, it goes away. 
But if I started combat, hopefully it would fix that. But either way, that kind of is just a quick rundown of LVI. Basically, the important parts here are setting up your action bars, however you want them here. Setting up your unit frames, however you want them here. So basically, look at the ones that have pluses on them and figure those out. And then that toggle anchors button. This is going to really show off everything you want to do. You know, you'll just toggle through until you find what you really wanted to move around. And then you can move that around. And that's great. That really gives you everything you need to know to kind of modify this UI. So I'm going to go ahead and set my UI up. And then I'll kind of show you uh, just a little bit about how it's, it's finalized in this. Okay, so I'm going to get back here real quick. I wanted to show off one more thing that I actually forgot to do. This is kind of the uh, the layout that I kind of like. Very minimalist. I have a whole bunch of hover over bars for random things, but I generally just don't use them. My stance bars down here. Everything is pretty cool. I like it this way, and I want to keep it this way. Um, the These can be changed quite a bit. There is one important thing I wanted to show off, and that is... Um, kind of how, how unit frames are going to work. Specifically, when you want the... Uh, the 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 target and target of target things like this we really want those to be shown pretty quickly so I can kind of uh, click show auras I can't show that why not why can't I show it I know it's enabled target 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 frame show auras okay so that kind of shows off that unfortunately I can't target a target right now so why can't I uh, let's see can I, can I can I scare this thing do I kill it in one shot ah oh, dang it Okay. Well, oh wait, I got it. I got it. I can taunt. I can taunt. All I have to do is just jump over here and taunt this guy. Boom. So now, um, I guess the target to target. Where's the target to target? Normally, I have my target to target right down here so you can see it in a nice little bar. And that's, I think it's kind of nice because then you can, more importantly, if they do any kind of interrupts, it's going to show right here. So uh, what's important is you really want to you really want to watch those target targets, and you want to be able to make sure that you can see what buffs the uh, the enemy mob has. So you know what what buffs are on there. Very important that you be able to see that, and more importantly, you need to be able to see what their target or what their cast bar is, because their cast bar is going to show up, and you have to be able to see stuff. Because in Warlords of Draenor, you have to gonna be able to interrupt stuff, and you're going to have to be able to not interrupt everything. Uh, from everything I've heard and everything I've seen, you you need to watch for specific spells that they cast that are interruptible, and then interrupt those spells. So you have to be able to see what's the, what they're actually casting. So on that cast bar, you need to watch for it just so you can interrupt what you want. But either way, I'm kind of rambling, so let's just move on to what I really wanted to show you guys, and that was going to the action bars thing. There is a keybind mode. This makes everything very, very simple for you. Basically, you press this keybind mode, and it even gives you instructions here. Hover over your mouse over any action bar, and basically press a button, and it'll automatically bind. So you can see here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, dash, and double dash equals, I guess. Uh, they're, they're the action bar 1. That's the basic set when you just play the game, period. But what you can do is you can hover over anything you want and press a different button. I can press, you know, R. Boom. That is automatically assigned to R. Or this one's T, Y. You. It's literally as simple as that. All you have to do is mouse over and then press a button. Boom. It's immediately um, you know, bound. So that makes key binding extremely simple. Um, as you can see here, I have F1 tied to this. And I wanted to go ahead and show this just because I do so much tanking guides. Oh, uh, you can hit escape to clear it off. So I just want to clear these away now so I don't accidentally press them in the middle. Um, I want to show off this one thing. The one macro that I would suggest every single tank to have is skull. And that is slash script space set raid target um, open parentheses qu what is this quotations target quotations comma space eight close parentheses semicolon basically all this does is that you can set a skull on your target unfortunately you can't see it on a dead target so let's see if I can find something alive real quick unfortunately there is nothing alive in this area there you go. So you can see the ancient window watcher, and boom. All I have to do is press F1, and I immediately get the skull. It doesn't have to be assigned to F1, but it's very important that you set this, because this is something that is incredibly useful just to use in dungeons, use in uh, LFR, just everywhere you want. you do got to be able to use this skull just so that people can see what to kill, because if you mark something with a skull, people will kill it first. I've, I've found this time and time again. You want this skull to be on the thing that you want to attack. And you can move it around. That doesn't mean that they're going to move around, but at least the skull gives them something to focus on. So if you really want it, 
to try out do do that because that's a very important either way I think this kind of shows off the UI I think LVUI is really an all-in-one thing once you get LVUI you really don't need anything else the only other you know uh, in multiple answers I've given is you need LVUI for pretty much everything and then you need DBM to tell you what to do during boss fights that is literally all you need to be a mediocre tank you know a basic knowledge of your class and these two add-ons will give you everything you need everything you want and let you play better so I highly recommend that you go pick up LVUI from the download link below and I'm gonna go ahead and sign off there so let's give a little wave thank you peppers and why don't you flirt yeah that the 1 to 10 scale is fine enough to capture subtle details of compatibility. I'd prefer a 12-dimensional compatibility scale with additional parameters for mechanical aptitude and torque. Well, I haven't done that with a uh, gnome before, so <laughs> that was hilarious. Anyway, um, let's just go ahead and end it there. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this quick, you, uh, not quick, but this extensive UI guide on how I set up, how LVUI works, and just basics on LVUI. Uh, please like, favorite, share, subscribe, all that jazz, and as always, you keep it salty, internet.